Hello and welcome to the Driving Moor Super Rugby Round 4 Predictions. Um, we've, Super Rugby might be taking a bit of flack recently, um, but we've been having some great rugby um, in there as well, even if the structure isn't to everyone's taste. And this weekend looks like we've got some good matchups again. I'm Paul, the guy behind Driving Moor, and thank you for joining me. So first up, we have the Crusaders hosting the Blues. The Crusaders are making a habit of coming back and doing second half victories uh, in this tournament so far. The Blues aren't quite some of their parts yet and it's, it is going to take time for the players to learn to play with each other. So away at the Crusaders isn't the time that you'd expect this all to click. So I'm back in the Crusaders by five. The Rebels have had a really harsh um, start to the season and, and not going well at all in down, down in the bottom two. Hosting the Chiefs is not what you want. So uh, I think that's clearly going to be a Chiefs victory, and I'm going for by for by about 15. Next up, the Bulls host the Sunwolves. Now, the Sunwolves put in a much better performance last weekend than we expected, and they still lost, of course. Uh, and the Bulls really haven't been the force that we perhaps thought they might be. They've been one of the poorer sides. So um, whilst I'm backing a home win, I think it's only going to be by about three points or so. Next up, the Hurricanes host the Highlanders. Um, potentially tie of the round there. Really impressive even if both sides have got injuries. And we have been seeing quite a lot of injuries, uh, especially in the New Zealand sides so far this season. Um, with all those injuries for the Highlanders, though, I'm backing the Canes by about seven in that one. The Tars then host the Brumbies, one of the sort of historically really cool ties uh, coming out of the Australian Conference. Unfortunately, both sides haven't really clicked. Um, the Waratahs coming back off their um, South Africa tour with two losses, and the Brumbies haven't been looking great either. But I think the, the, the Tars should have too much uh, at home. So again, three points for the home team there. Oh, sorry, by three points. The Lions then host the Reds. Now the Lions obviously had that loss over in Argentina to the Hagarais, but they did. They were missing a bunch of players. And it wasn't just down to resting. Uh, the one player had, had, was having, his, uh, having a child. Um, another one was missing because of funeral. So these are things you can't legislate for or, or, or plan for, really. So... Um, but I think hosting the Reds, who are another side that are good on paper but haven't really put it together on the pitch yet, uh, I think it's going to be a home win by about seven. Uh, the show, Sharks host the Kings. Now the Kings, just whilst they have got that victory, it was over the Sunwolves uh, and they, have, they are poor again. The Sharks are much more expensive than we've historically seen them. Um, so I'm going for the Sharks by about 15 there quite comfortably. Finally, the Hagarares host the Cheetahs. Now, the Cheetahs, coming off the back of their successful Curry Cup campaign, have looked a lot better. Um, but as we've seen with the Lions going out over to Argentina, it's not the easy place um, to tour that perhaps people saw last year. Um, I think the Hagarares are going to be much tougher at home. And they have also picked up a couple of wins already this season. And I think they're going to get another one here by about five points. Any questions, pop them in if you're watching live. If you're um, watching on Twitter, just do reply. And if you're on YouTube, give us comments below for a little chat about these predictions and about the upcoming games. Please do share or give it a thumbs up if you're on YouTube. Um, and finally, my newsletter um, link above on Twitter uh, to sign up for that. It comes out once a week and you catch all my stuff. Uh, otherwise, it's in the notes below on YouTube. Thank you very much for joining me. I'm really looking forward to this weekend's games. And... Uh, Let's all uh, then tomorrow I will be having a chat with you about the Six Nations predictions, both for the men's and the ladies. So have a good day and catch you all tomorrow.